one of the main ideas of the work I've seen recently about what you do is about repair, reparation. So, could you speak about that? I mean, if I may to speak about the repair in uh, such a short time, I would definitely uh, call this example of uh, the ambivalence of the repair between, let's say, if we pol polarize uh, conceptually civilizations, between the modern civilization and the traditional civilization, the way the repair of the body as well as object has been uh, uh, developed is completely different. Traditional primitive society used to repair by keeping the injury visible. The injury was either stapled with big staples in wood or even like in this beautiful Japanese art called Kitsugi. When a ceramic pot is broken, it's fixed and then the crack, the fault, is painted in gold. Yes. This is the non-Western conception of repair, the non-Western traditional conception of repair. On the contrary, the, the Western modern conception of repair it has one main goal, which is to erase the injuries. He has the fantasy to claim that Reaper, I mean, treated modernistically, is able to remove any traces of, a, of the injuries and then to bring back to the object or the body its original shape. It's, a, <coughs> of course, an idea, it's impossible. We never get back the original shape. But for me, <coughs> conceptually, it is, is extremely interesting to understand how much in modern society we live with a sort of big lies. A denial of time actually because when what you want to erase what you want to remove when you <coughs> want to remove an injury is actually uh, time history of an object when when traditional society used to repair by keeping the injury of an object they aimed at keeping <coughs> the trace of time of the accident that has happened in the object so it's a way to acknowledge it but with, and that's why I was fascinated by the First World War, because I think that it's incredible, I cannot continue. J'ai pris en ce moment une poussière. <coughs>